What? You're still here? That's great, because we're just about to get to the best parts of our video series, The Complete Guide to Inbound Marketing for E-Commerce. I'm your host, Ethan Giffen, founder and CEO of Groove Commerce, and I'm excited to have you along for this journey. If you've missed any of our prior parts of the video series, be sure to click here, and we'll get you back so you can watch it from the beginning. Thanks again for sticking around. In this video, we're going to talk about closing, how to close a visitor into a customer, right? And we're going to do that with a couple of different strategies. So the first strategy that we're going to leverage and think about is our e-commerce site search. So most of the e-commerce site searches that come out of the box on e-commerce platforms are not great, right? And an average site searcher is three to five X more likely to convert than a normal site visitor from you. They're actively looking for something on your website that they're trying to find. So we want to think about that. Their AOV is sometimes 25 to 50% higher as well too. So these are actively engaged users that want to buy and they spend more money faster with you. So we really want to think about what are the results that we're presenting back to them on the site search. If you go in and make sure first that you set up site search tracking in Google Analytics, then you want to start to look at the top 20 to 50 things that people look for every month and see what the results are that are coming back to you. Are you happy or are you really sad by that? We've worked with folks that are very big mid-market e-tailers and eight out of the top 10 search words come back with zero. Goose egg. They didn't even know they weren't tracking it. Wow, what a lot of people to lose because many of those people would get to the no results page from the site search and exit out the site to go and buy from somebody else. So we really want to think about and optimize our site search on a monthly basis. Next, we want to try to make our checkout as frictionless as possible. Are we helping people to get through that process? Do we have the right trust badges? Are we saying the right thing in there? Really also thinking about offering free shipping. Free shipping is still the number one offer that we see day in and day out. Next, we want to talk about abandoned cart. You need to build an abandoned cart workflow that we go out and email people three to four times after they've abandoned their cart. You want to start connecting with them somewhere between one and two hours after they have abandoned the cart, and you want to follow up with them every 24 to 48 hours. We've seen results going out as far as you know one to two months after abandoning a cart. Sometimes you get that Hail Mary to bring them back, but most of these activities probably happen between five to eight days after you start your first email to them. Don't send an offer in the first email. Really start to remind them. Maybe in that second email you offer a free gift, and if you really have to offer a discount, you don't want to train all of your visitors to think that you'll give them a discount just by abandoning their cart, especially if they can wait a few days to come back and order. So by building out an abandoned cart workflow is extremely, extremely important, and it's very, very easy to recover thousands of dollars in carts with the right workflow that's set up. And next we want to talk about custom audiences. You may say, what's a custom audience? Well, that's a place in either Facebook or Google where you can upload a specific list of email addresses and only present advertising to those folks. We might want to do that to people that have already bought from you that you want to have come back. That would be more in the delightment stage. But if you have enough folks on your abandoned cart list, you could present them offers through those platforms and try to move them along through the sales funnel. We've got some great blog posts about this on our website, and it's a very, very powerful way to go out and target shoppers and pull them, pull them, pull them deeper into your sales funnel. And lastly, we have retargeting and remarketing. That's where we're presenting ads online to people that have already visited your website and viewed some of your products. And that's by cooking those visitors and then buying low-cost advertising across the internet and specifically targeting these people. You can target them with a display banner ad, with an offer. You can target them by the products they've already viewed. Um, you can target them with text ads. You can do this on both Facebook, as well as Google, as well as other platforms. And it's a very powerful and inexpensive way to try to pull people back into the sales funnel. The one thing to really remember is that you need to clear people out of those groups uh, on those platforms after they buy from you. There's nothing worse than already buying and getting a retargeting ad from somebody that you that has already purchased from you. And there's nothing worse as a visitor to offer somebody a discount through a banner ad that's already just bought from you. And those are the ways that we really think about how to close the visitor 
into a customer on your website. In our next part of our video series, we're gonna talk about how to delight customers and turn them into evangelists. We hope you stick around.